Hello people, in this video we want to look at this uh, pharmacology book by K.D. Tripathi, a very uh, reliable book for uh, medical pharmacology. This is called as Essentials of Medical Pharmacology. So this book is hardbound, okay, it kind of looks like a law book, you know those law books that you have, lawyers use, kind of gives that feeling, you know, with this black. So let's get started. So here you have general pharmacology like roots of drug administration, pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, right? Uh, what else? Uh, adverse drug effects, how the drug gets metabolized, eliminated. Okay, that is pharmacokinetics. So all the general pharmacology principles. Then you have drugs which act on autonomic nervous system, right? Like cholinergic drugs, anticholinergic, adrenergic, anti-adrenergic, right? So uh, those drugs come here. Example, you have what? Atropine right etc then coming to autocoids and related drugs here you will have your paracetamol when you see here uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs you will have uh, paracetamol coming here so that is this is where you can find it then uh, histamine antihistamines yes rheumatoid so basically these are autoimmune conditions right rheumatoid uh, etc so they're giving anti-rheumatoid drugs etc um, respiratory system drugs guys the normal cough and all what will you give Asthma, so asthma you will give salbutamol, etc. Right? Hormones and related drugs. This is the section five, guys. Focus. We are looking at this book. Uh, which book are we looking at? Tripathi, Tripathi, pharmacology, right? So look at this. Hormones and drugs. You have uh, pituitary hormones, thyroid hormones, insulin. How will they give insulin? Usually subcutaneous route, right? People take it themselves. Corticosteroids. Then. Um, Corticosteroids usually will be give for, given for autoimmune conditions, right? Estrogen, progestin, contraceptives, those are also hormones, right? Oxytocin, etc. How's it going, guys? There are a lot of drugs, yes, obviously. Just let's look at the headings then. Uh, nervous system, on the peripheral nervous system, you can give skeletal muscle relaxants, local anesthetics, right? Uh, central nervous system, you have general anesthetics, anti epileptic, anti Parkinson, anti psychotic, antidepressant drugs, right? Antidepressant, what and all will you get? serotonin uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors etc right they can control your depression if you have cardiovascular drugs what will you know nitric oxide etc right then um, anti-arrhythmic drugs etc anti-hypertensive drugs what and all will you have beta blockers can be anti-hypertensive anti-diuretics sorry diuretics can be uh, anti-hypertensive drugs acting on kidney you have diuretics anti-diuretics yes so uh, blood and blood formation you have uh, erythropoietin uh, hemantenics that is helping the blood form is it then um, erythropoietin is a hormone isn't it from the kidney which will make more uh, rbc's right then you have the gastrointestinal drugs so what and all will you give to people whenever they have ulcers you'll give um, name some drugs pantoprazole and all that right <coughs> then antimicrobials coming to you all your antibiotics and all that so all of them are grouped under antimicrobials like you can have antifungal anti uh, tubercular so many drugs right so here you have uh, cotrimoxazole then beta lactam antibiotics where penicillin and all will come here right <coughs> broad spectrum antibiotics you have tetracycline chloramphenicol your doxycycline and all will come here right anti tubercular drugs can you name some Isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, yes, antileprotic drugs, dapsone, etc. Then uh, here in antimicrobial itself, you have antiviral also, anti-malarial, anti-helminthic, anti-helminthic, albendazole, mebendazole, all those. Neoplastic diseases, um, anti-cancer drugs, name some anti-cancer drugs, mincristine, then what else? So many drugs are there. Cisplatin and all that. Okay, then miscellaneous drugs, immunosuppressant drugs suppress your immune when will you do this organ transplant otherwise why would you want to suppress somebody's immune right then chelating agents to remove some poisons like metal poisons if somebody takes then you will need to give some chelating agents vitamins yes so you want to give people all the times prescribe some vitamins to people vitamin b12 you'll prescribe you'll prescribe folic acid what else what vitamins normally vitamin c yes all that then vaccines yes vaccines so many vaccines and then um, okay then what else that's it so we're done with the contents of this book so many drugs okay list of abbreviations i think before that you would want to look at this book as a whole right wait let's flip the pages 
all the mechanisms of drug action right how and all the classification of drugs these are the thyroid inhibitors okay so this is how the book is guys pretty black and white right they didn't put photo of one medicine one tablet also right so mainly classification guys vaccines also they have classification is it killed inactivated vaccines live attenuated vaccines so measles and all that will be live attenuated right measles mumps rubella varicella polio polio the oral polio all these are live attenuated vaccines bacterial what and all are live attenuated typhoid have you taken typhoid vaccination guys they will give you live attenuated bacteria and bcg also is live attenuated okay then toxoids toxoids means they are not at all having the knee organism right neither killed nor live they don't have any organism like diphtheria tetanus and all that those are toxoids combined vaccines pentavalent vaccines who has what dpt plus hepatitis b plus hemophilia influenza okay there are some special uh, appendix uh, appendix telling the drugs which you can give in pregnancy drugs which you can give in breastfeeding kind of a thing that could be useful right yes so because these could be teratogenic right some drugs so they are telling you uh, when we are prescribing some drugs in pre uh, pregnancy it's better to have no drugs at all only when it is needed definitely needed then only you give kind of things avoid new drugs you know unless they have been you know you clearly established safe safety right don't give new drugs and tell them don't take over the counter drugs give less dose etc etc they have some solution to problem directed study you can even calculate the dose and all that right look at this they're telling you how to calculate total volume distribution clearance loading dose maintenance dose etc for which drug are they talking about the loading dose maintenance dose and all guys what do you think let's see rifampicin is it which dose which drug are they talking about rifampicin is known to induce metabolism of contraceptive steroids so basically this is like if you have given somebody an uh, oral contraceptive pill then and if they are taking rifampicin the metabolism of those uh, can get affected okay so these people can get pregnant so you should be very careful that's it guys do you want us to go into details of any of these things or this is enough for a book what is this let's look at one diagram here this is muscle so this is nerve so the nerve is releasing what acetylcholine is it what are these dots yeah acetylcholine are being res released and the muscle will catch these acetylcholine and go into contraction so some drugs will work on this neuromuscular junction so this is some antibody what is nr nr is nicotinic receptors okay so which chapter do you think we are in cholinergic transmission and cholinergic drugs so do you know cholinergic drugs can you name some cholinergic drugs guys Let's see. Can you name some cholinergic drugs? Mm, Anticholinesterases are also cholinergic drugs only. Okay, here you found cholinergic agonists. Acetylcholine, methacholine. In any ways, they don't give you acetylcholine ever because it will get uh, metabolized very soon. So what will they give you? Pilocarpine. Yes, this will they will put for I. Right? Not much though now. What will it do? Meotikitis. Pilocarpine. Where else will you use? It is. Um, where is it used? So it is used only in the eye as eye drop. As of now, looks like open angle glaucoma, third line of drug. It's not even first or second line. It's third line of drug. Okay. So basically, it is used as a me meiotic, guys, to counteract mitriatic. So when you go to the doctor and they have dilated your pupil, then uh, when they cannot send you back home like that, you will. You will not be able to even walk home because of um, your eye is so sensitive to the sunlight, right? So you can't even ride or walk. So they'll have to put a meiotic before sending you home, right? Or also, even if they want to break this adhesion of the iris with the lens or cornea, then also they can do with the alternating meiotic and vitreatic. As such, uh, so much of pharmacology to read, guys. So if you're choosing this book, it will be good because it's kind of a reliable book. for study pharmacology that's all guys in this video on um, essentials of medical pharmacology by kd tripathi just note that you don't need to you know need not know the structure of any drug medicine you don't need not know the chemical structure you just need to know their names okay names classification okay that's all for now guys
Bye-bye.